Hey there, Mark. Hi. My name's Dave. I'm the producer of this docu-series. Hi. Just want to say thank you for coming in and telling your story. Yeah, well, I just I feel lucky to be able to tell my story. You know, there, there are many people who, um, who didn't survive, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to try to make this as easy as we possibly can for you today. How are we looking, guys? Set. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, camera speed. Sound speed. Soul survivor Mark interview, take one, Apple marker. All right, so, Mark, you were the only survivor on United Flight 48, a commercial jet that crash landed in the Himalayas in 2016. Yes. Tell us about that moment you knew something was wrong. I was, uh, I was sitting next to my daughter, Elizabeth. We were watching Frozen. It's her favorite movie. And uh, I heard this loud bang. And the first thing that I thought was, we're about to die. And I gotta make a quick adjustment. The mic is rubbing against the shirt. Got it. Just hold tight one sec. Oh, of course. Sorry. <laughs> just hold this. I'm gonna hold you it. Just hold it really quick. Okay. Is that your nipple? No. Okay. Yes, that's my nipple. Okay, not the mic. Okay. Actually, can you say that line for me again? We're about to die. We're about to die. Just a couple times so I can get the levels right. We're about to die. We're about to die. We're about to die. We're about to die. We're about to okay, die. Okay, that's mm. good. All right. Let's just pick it up from after the crash. What do you remember? Well, um, my, my daughter Elizabeth and I were the only ones to get out of the plane before it exploded. She had been crushed below the waist, so I, I couldn't keep her warm. And the, the last thing that she said to me was, Daddy, Daddy, I'm just like Elsa. Hold for sound. And we're good. Still rolling. Still rolling. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I had to pry her out from under the engine. It was my fault that we went on that trip. It was my fault that she died. I'm getting a buzzing sound. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Okay, Dad, can you uh, get over on your right hip just a little bit? You're really getting cut off in the frame. Oh, you know what? That's the AC. I'm going to go turn it off. This? Yeah. Okay. S the D. Split the diff. Camera turn. Yeah, a little more, a little more, a little more, 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 more. Freeze. Got it, we're good. Got it. Let's just take it from that last thing you said. It's my fault she died. It's my fault she died. Wow, heartbreaking. Uh, let's just skip ahead a little bit. So to survive, you had to actually eat parts of your eight-year-old daughter. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that decision. It was the darkest moment of my life. I waited uh, two weeks. I was so hungry, I, c I couldn't wait anymore. So I um, found a sharp piece of metal and I sliced a chunk of my daughter's. I'm still getting a buzzing. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. you know what? Okay. That's the fridge next door. I gotta go turn it off. I'll be right back. Just hold on one second, just a little adjustment. You hungry? Oh, uh, no, thank We've you. We've got beets, we have chicken cutlets with pomegranate seeds, black cherries. I'm okay. How about some fresh blood orange slices? I'm okay, thank you. I'll take some of those blood orange slices. Oh yeah, they're good. Yeah, oh my god, I'm starving. Mm. Oh god. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. Oh. Mm. Okay guys, we are all clear. All right, guys. Ooh, blood orange. Let's get right back to it. I'm good. Let's just pick it up from the chunk. I, I cut a chunk of my daughter's arm. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I cut off a chunk. Jackhammer. Hold for sound. Go again. I cut off. Leaf blower. Go ahead. I cut loud it. steps. Someone's walking loud. Go. I cut gay sex. Yeah, it's yeah, gay yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. Go. I cut <laughs> a chunk of my daughter's arm, and I ate it, and it tasted good. It took 63 days for rescue.
It took 63 days for rescuers to find me, and by that time I'd eaten my daughter's entire body, including her toes. And I kept asking God why he chose me to survive and not her. Why, God, why, 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 why? Hold. Go. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Did we, did we get it? Oh God, sorry, I wasn't rolling on any of that. Uh, okay, um, let's just do the whole thing a couple more times after lunch. Right. Well, let's break for lunch, change your batteries out. Um, we're actually gonna have some beef for a pot here. Uh,